Hey there, welcome or welcome back. This is Breathe and Budget. My name is Taryn. We talk about all things finance related on this channel, including the zero based budget method, cash envelopes, and fund savings challenges, all of which helps us meet our financial goals. So if any of that is of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join our community here, and let's get into today's cash stuffing. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and give this money a count. This should be $500. I've had it sitting here for a while. I've just not gotten around to cash stuffing or filming this video, so let's just make sure. So this is money from my Etsy shop. I don't pull cash all the time. I do have it deposited into an account every two weeks, and for the most part, I do most of my business like online if I have to purchase supplies and things like that but I've decided I don't feel confident doing it I just feel like I'm not tracking it when I just do it that way and I keep it in the account I automatically transfer money to the savings every time they pay me I take 20% and I throw it to a high yield savings whether I use it for taxes or need it or it's just money that I can use at the end of the year you know great but I will like purchase supplies and I don't think I'm really even considering like what are my costs and what could my potential profit be. Yes, I use some of the money. Um, I purchased my daughter a phone with some of the money. I will treat ourselves to dining out with some of the money, but there's no number, there's no percentage. So I wanna try to get better with that. So what I did is I pulled $500, we'll give this account. I'm gonna put some towards my farmer's market savings challenge because that is a high priority for me right now. And then we will go into my business binder. I think I have shown this only one time, um, but I added a couple different envelopes and we are gonna add to that right now. So let's get this account. So 100, 200, I think I only, no that many slots okay so 200 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 400 10 20 30 these fives are great so 40 50 60 70 80 95 495, 496, 97, 98, 99, and 500. So that is perfect. That is exactly what we need. I'll go ahead and put that over there. So let's talk about, well, let's just do this first. We're going to go ahead and move into my farmer's market savings challenge first. Okay. If you've been, you know, watching my channel, you know that this button is incredibly hard to open but I chose to keep this one for myself. Um, I wouldn't dare send this to a customer. This is my farmer's market savings challenge. I am quickly saving $1,000 to fund my garden. So we already have that area, like we took the weeds out, we leveled the ground, it's already fenced, which it pretty much was already fenced. We just needed to fix one side and add a door. That was already funded when we purchased our chickens and we got the coop. So that's all enclosed, ready to go. This is gonna be towards purchasing the wood for the raised beds, which Sky has volunteered. She wants to make them for me. So that's what we're gonna do. And then also for the soil, I'm gonna buy soil in bulk from Lowe's as well as manure. And then I'm gonna do starter plants. So $1,000 may not necessarily be enough, but it's gonna get me started at least. And the reason I'm doing starter plants versus seed is time is not on my side. Our first frost was May 1st, meaning like some of the things I wanna grow, I may have to wait till next year because I probably should have done it right before the first frost. So I'm learning. I'm zone 8B, so if you happen to have any advice for me, please share it. So I have already finished the first three. I put $15 into this envelope here, and I want to finish this envelope. So basically, yes, I'm using a calculator. Don't knock it. So 110, and I already have 15. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 95 more. So we'll do three fives. We'll do two tens and three twenties. 
I think I did three fives, right? Yeah. So this should be 110. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. Perfect. So that might, means that we are done with this section. And I forgot my marker. Hold on. Okay, so I've just been making like a small little dot. I'm not coloring in. And what I did was I tested, this is just a dry erase marker. These particular ones are linked in my Amazon storefront and I really love these. I have them in all different colors. Um, I did use a Sharpie, like a permanent marker as well. Both worked. And I tried to take them off with like different sources. And I found that using a magic eraser was honestly the best way. So that is what I'll be using going forward. So this section is done. And then let's go ahead and just put 20 in here to at least get this section started. Okay. So I'll just put a $20 bill. So what I've been doing to fund this, as you could see today, I'm using some of the Etsy money, right? From my small business. Um, some of this was my personal rollover because I had held on to my personal spending for a couple weeks and didn't spend it. And that was like a hundred and something. I can't remember now. I rolled that over and I put it directly towards the savings challenge. So that money was already allotted for. And then when I did my budget for the third paycheck of May, I allotted, I think about a hundred dollars to go towards this challenge. So, so far, that's how I'm funding this. I know some people will question, how are you coming up with the money so fast? And I want to be very transparent. So some of my personal spending that I chose to not spend had to make very intentional decisions to say, no, I don't need that right now because I want this more. And that is pretty much what you need to do to break those old habits, especially like mine, my very like compulsive and impulsive spending. Uh, if I wanted it, I swiped a credit card. We don't con we don't carry credit card debt or consumer debt like that. We just have our house and the car. But I I swiped a card like it was nobody's business. But I also wasn't raised talking about money. We didn't talk about credit cards, um, the benefits of them, and the downside of them. That just was never discussed when I was younger. So we definitely discuss that in this house. Like my kids and I, we have these open discussions about finances. All right, so this is my business binder. This is by the one and only spectacular Brittany at Willow Horror Shop. I saw her create this design for someone and I said I have to have it, but I wanted it on a white binder, not a pink binder. Um, and the red, and I think, yeah, I think it was like red on pink, but I just wanted it on white. I love Jaws and I love Hello Kitty. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, like, give it to me now. So um, I'm super excited. I have another binder from her that I use to hold all of my receipts. So I have envelopes and it holds the receipts. So I originally had some of these envelopes from my first binder purchase, but when I purchased a new one from her, I added miscellaneous and I believe shipping. I think those were the two that I added. So let's just go through this so that you guys can see the categories. It's been a while um, since I have shown this binder. And at first I was like, I just don't know how I'm going to use these categories, but I have, you know, since figured out what I could do. So we have Canva. I do have the pro subscription, which you pay for annually. So I have that money already ready to go. Then I have for our PO box, which, um, by the way, if you're a small business owner, I know it sucks to have to drive to like a couple towns over or however far you choose, but I do not have my PO box in my hometown. I do that for obviously safety reasons, just because I don't know, I don't need anyone to think that they need to come to my house and try to take the money that I have because they would be disappointed to know that um, it'd be very hard to take. And most of our money is sitting in a high yield savings account, despite me being a cash budgeter. So Cricut, I did pay for the year. So I have to save for the next year, which I have like, I don't know, 10 months at this time to save for it. I had never purchased the Cricut, um, is it like Cricut Pro? I don't know. Uh, Cricut Design, like whatever. You know what I mean. Uh, I had not done that, but then I started to get into vinyl, and I'll go ahead and put a picture up on the screen of an order that I just shipped out. 
And I created also a travel binder, which, you know, having this subscription gave me access to images without having to buy them individually. And I really wanted to get more into this. So I thought, why not? It, it wasn't that expensive. I can't even remember now, but maybe it was like 50, 60 bucks. I don't know. Maybe it was a hundred. Um, then we have Amazon. So basically we have Amazon and we have supplies. I'm not sure how I will differentiate these two. A lot of the supplies I get are from Amazon. Some of the supplies I get are from manufacturers, like my laminate, my matte laminate, I used to get from Amazon, but now I go directly to the supplier. So that might go there. Um, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Like, I get my vellum from Amazon. Supplies, hmm. I don't know, I might need to get in that, I might need to have her make another one or I can use miscellaneous because when I order or create like binders and stuff like that, um, that would be with like my suppliers. I'll have to think about that. Then I have for taxes, which I'm actually not going to use. Um, I have the envelope here. I don't know whether I could take the vinyl off and just add a new label to it, but I don't pull for taxes in cash. I immediately deposit it into a high yield savings account. I just do a transfer between checking and savings so that that can start earning me interest while it sits there for a year. Um, so I, I won't be using that one. Shipping is basically like I had to purchase um, postage in January because of a giveaway. So this isn't something I would normally like do just because I purchased my labels from Etsy. But if I'm going to be shipping a gift or a freebie or a giveaway, I would need to have money for that. And then the miscellaneous. So let's go, let me just see how much I have. I think this might already be open. In Canva, 120, I think that's enough for the year. Um, let me let me just add five dollars because if there is tax, which I don't know that I considered when I put money in here, um, it might be a little bit more. So let me just go ahead and do that. Then for PO box, let's see how much we have. Um, I'm considering moving locations, but we will see. So 100, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. I think this is fine. I pay for a year up front. I like to do things uh, year, like annually if I can versus like every six months. All right, so Cricut, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, that was my cat Coco jumping down from the window. Let's do, hmm. I have time. We'll do 15. I was like, should we just fully fund it now? No, I have time because I need money to be here for supplies. Um, Amazon is going to get 100. Supplies is going to get the other 100. Taxes, I have to take that out because that's like not necessary anymore. Neither is this receipt in here. I got to put it in my receipt binder. Uh, so shipping, I'm just going to put a 20 because I have that. Um, I reached 10K on Instagram. So I will be in about a week or so uh, announcing the 10K giveaway and that I will have to, if it's some, if someone wins that happens to have been a customer of mine in Etsy, I can go into Etsy and purchase a label cheaper. If not, I use ship.com. Um, I will put up a code or a link down below, whatever, if you're interested, but you do get discounted shipping rates if you sign up with them. And I do it as pay as you go. So I will like reload my account as I'm purchasing labels, but you can set it up where every month that Re, like bills you 50 bucks or whatnot. Um, but since I do everything mostly through Etsy, I don't do that. I pay as I go. And then let me see how much we have left. 20, 40, 60, 81. Okay, I'm definitely going to put 100 in here. Let's see what we have left. 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5. Okay, I'm going to put five in P.O. box just in case, you know how, I don't know, inflation, I guess, is the reason or things just happen to always go up every year. Um, although I feel like 
everyone's pay never really quite matches what the increases are, you know, cost of living and stuff like that. Um, I will might I might as well just add ten more. So now we'll have twenty five in Cricut, and then. I know I'm going to need matte laminate soon, so I'm going to go ahead and throw everything in here. So that'll be 10, 20, 30. So 130. Some of these fives are so amazing that I think I might swap them out for like the not so good fives since I know this money will be spent. Okay, so this feels good. This feels good because I just, again, I just purchase and use a credit card and then I just pay it for my business account and yeah I track the spending and in, in, in the sense that like my CPA knows what I purchased supplies versus like overhead all that good stuff you know stuff I don't understand but this just feels good because I want to actually try to be more intentional with what I purchase for the business not necessarily purchasing um, too soon, but also I don't want to wait too long. I don't know. There's just, there's got to be this like happy um, medium somewhere and I'm hoping to find it. So if you happen to be a small business owner, you know, specifically like your own website like this or Etsy and you have any suggestions for me, um, please let me know because I, you know, I've been a shop owner, I think a year now. I need to check when my year anniversary is, but I just feel like I'm still very unsure. So that is it. Very quick cash stuffing today. I think we're going to be under 20 minutes, which is fabulous. And I'm super nervous already today as it is. My daughter takes her driver's license test today. I am so freaking ner nervous, like, um, like shaking nervous for her. Do I think she isn't going to pass? No, I, I think she's going to pass. But I get test anxiety for myself and I feel like I, it's basically it extends to my children as well. I want them to do well. I want them to succeed. And I get nervous, you know, like what if they don't pass? How is that going to make them feel? What do I say? Because I don't want to mess up. I don't want to say something that then further traumatizes them. It's, I don't know. Um, I remember when Sky did a championship for Taekwondo. She's a third degree black belt. And so we had done several championships, all gold medals, no surprise there. And she got her first silver. And I was secretly nauseous, sick for her, but happy that she got it. And she was crying and she said she would never compete again. Obviously, I didn't let that happen. I'm a firm believer you get back up on the horse, right? And we made her, you know, compete again. And she's gotten, um, except for one more silver, she just got in her last championship. All the rest are gold. So out of all the like dozens of gold, she only has two silver. But that first silver was really impactful because I just feel like it humbled her it shows you that she's brilliant. She's great. Don't get me wrong, but there is always going to be someone stronger or better or more equipped. And she just has to keep that in mind. So I'm nervous for her today. So I will post an update. If I have it by the time I'm editing it, you will have already known. I will put it on the screen. Um, but I'm going to go try to calm my nerves before I have to drive her over there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead. I'm waiting. Hit it now. See you. Bye.